the top six vitamins and herbal remedies to decongest your heart. In order for your heart to work properly, blood must be flowing freely through your arteries and your veins. Sometimes, however, these tubes can become congested and stiff, and they get clogged up with plaque that's made out of calcium, fibrin, and cholesterol. This plaque is very dangerous as it can increase the risk of having high blood pressure, a heart attack or a blood clot, especially later on in life. It tends to form when you're eating or drinking too many processed foods, you're not exercising enough, you have inflammation or even if you're under chronic emotional stress. For this reason, today we're going to explore the most effective vitamins, nutritional supplements and remedies that can decongest the heart naturally by helping to clean out plaque from the arteries and increase circulation of blood. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this video is for educational purposes only, so be sure to speak with your doctor if you have any medical issues at all. Firstly, let's talk about the importance of vitamin K2 for your heart and arteries. One of the main reasons that people have a heart attack is because the plaque that's inside the arteries hardens with calcium, much like bone. This makes the arteries become very stiff and rigid and it blocks the normal flow of blood around the system. Vitamin K2, however, activates a protein which prevents calcium from building up inside your blood vessels by directing it away from the arteries and into the bones where it belongs. You can obtain this by taking a daily supplement of 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 in the form that's labelled MK7. For every 100 micrograms of K2 that you take, I also recommend taking 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3, as these two work together in moving calcium. Or preferably, you can just get your K2 from whole food sources like salami, sauerkraut, natto, beef liver, and it's also rich in hard European cheeses like camembert, emmental cheese, parmigiana, and munster. Number two is a very simple daily drink that you can use to decongest your arteries and also lower your blood pressure. For this remedy, firstly you will need two cups of water. This liquid will serve as the base of this remedy. And then you'll need one organic hibiscus tea bag. Hibiscus flowers contain anthocyanins which give them that beautiful red colour. These ingredients are actually natural ACE inhibitors very similar to high blood pressure medication, but without the side effects. The hibiscus is an essential part of this daily drink as it helps to relax and open up your blood vessels, whilst also reducing inflammation in the walls of the arteries to prevent further plaque from building up. Next, you'll need a lemon balm tea bag as well, organic again where possible. Lemon balm is a rich source of rosmarinic acid which relaxes the body and helps to reduce emotional stress and cortisol. This aids the hibiscus in lowering high blood pressure, especially if you're suffering from high stress levels. Optionally, you may also add one quarter teaspoon of potassium citrate powder to this daily drink. This will provide around 1000 milligrams of potassium which helps to reduce fluid retention in the body that may have been putting pressure and stress on your arteries. And as the drink is a little bitter, you may also want to add some stevia drops to sweeten it if you like. To make it, simply place the hibiscus and the lemon balm tea bags in a large cup filled with boiling water. Allow them to steep for at least 8 minutes to release the phytonutrients into the water. Using a spoon, squeeze the tea bags and remove them from the liquid. Finally, add the potassium citrate powder and a few drops of liquid stevia if you like and stir well. Drink this HLP tea once per day and only once per day, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Within just 6 weeks, your blood pressure may go down, your blood circulation will improve and your arteries will become less inflamed, reducing plaque formation. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I may keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Moving on to number 3 now, which is natto kinase. 
plaque that builds up and clogs the arteries may contain cholesterol and calcium, but it also contains a tough meshing protein called fibrin. This is like a type of scar tissue which can make the artery walls very tough and rigid, making it very difficult for blood to flow freely. Fortunately, there's a very powerful proteolytic enzyme called natokinase which helps to dissolve this fibrin naturally, thin out the blood, dissolve harmful blood clots and increase circulation around the entire body. In addition, natokinase can also help those who are suffering from deep vein thrombosis and varicose veins. 100 mg of natokinase daily is a standard dosage for this nutritional supplement. The fourth item is the very, very important vitamin C complex. Studies are showing us that the same bacteria that invades the gums and causes bleeding in the mouth also may invade the artery walls, causing inflammation and then you get the buildup of plaque. This is why it's extremely important to get at least 100 mg of vitamin C per day by eating live leafy green vegetables, fermented vegetables, fruits and berries. Vitamin C supports your immune system in fighting off this harmful bacteria in the artery walls and it can also help to heal any damaged or bleeding tissues which is the first stage before plaque. However, please avoid using the over-the-counter ascorbic acid supplements as these only contain 5% of the real vitamin C complex. If you want the full complex in a supplement form, make sure that you use a whole fruit powder made from rose hips, acerola cherry, raspberry or camu camu and you can use this in a smoothie or just a glass of water. Number 5 is aged garlic extract. When garlic is fermented, a unique type of sulphur is created called SAC. Studies show that this SAC helps to reduce the accumulation of soft plaque in the arteries and it also helps to prevent atherosclerosis from getting worse over time. You can simply consume some black garlic to get these benefits, perhaps by blending it into some hummus or a homemade dip. If you don't like the taste, however, you can take 2400 mg of aged garlic extract daily as a supplement to help clean out the arteries. And when it comes to protecting your heart, we must not forget about the importance of vitamin E. A deficiency in vitamin E can lead to chest pain which is angina and an increase in arterial plaque. Vitamin E is absolutely vital for helping oxygen get into the heart muscle cells where it needs to be. The strongest type of vitamin E is called tocotrienols which you can get as a supplement at a dosage of around 300 mg spread out throughout the day. Tocotrienols are actually 50 times stronger than the regular vitamin E from tocopherols and they're incredible for reducing inflammation in the body. They also are very good for breaking down scar tissue that could be making your arteries thicker and more narrow. How to help unclog the arteries naturally? Now I must emphasize, in order to decalcify your arteries and to heal them, it takes much more than just taking supplements and focusing on remedies. It's also important to cut out the bad foods and the lifestyle habits that are causing your arteries to become inflamed and clogged in the first place. So use the following steps to help unclog your arteries. 1. Start to cut out inflammatory foods that damage your arteries, like sugar, refined grains and omega-6 vegetable oils. Cut back on things like cereals, soda drinks, biscuits, breads, pasta, sweets, deep fried foods and takeout meals. 2. Improve oxygen flow around your body by taking a gentle 45 minute walk outside on a daily basis with lots of fresh air. Walking outside increases circulation, it reduces cortisol which is the stress hormone and helps to keep your blood pressure under control to minimize the risk of heart attacks. 3. Eat heart healthy omega 3 rich foods like walnuts, cod liver oil, wild salmon, sardines, anchovies and shellfish at least 3 times per week. You could also eat 2-3 to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast every day to supply B vitamins, especially niacin which can dilate and open up your blood vessels to prevent a blockage or a blood clot. 4. 
Many people fall into this trap. Avoid elemental calcium carbonate supplements. This mineral is very poorly absorbed from these pills and it tends to get trapped in the bloodstream causing plaque to start hardening inside the arteries. Instead, get natural forms of calcium from real foods which also contain vitamin K2 as this will direct the calcium into your bones. Good sources are Parmigiana, Emmental, Raclette or Munster cheeses. 5. Cut out alcohol as this raises estrogen which may damage the artery walls and make them more susceptible to plaque. Instead, perhaps you'd like to drink 1-2 to two cups of kombucha tea in the early evening as this provides the same relaxing effect as alcohol without the side effects. And 6. Eating too often puts additional stress on the heart and the arteries to transport all of this extra fuel around your body. So stop eating so often and eat two solid meals per day without snacks, especially if you're over 50 and you're not growing anymore. Make sure to include lots of nutrient dense foods in your diet like vegetables, berries, grass fed meats, wild fish etc. Also include high quality oils like extra virgin olive oil, avocado pulp or raw coconut oil with your meals as these healthy fats will nourish your cells and allow you to go a lot longer without eating by keeping your energy up. I've also made another video on the top 10 foods that can unclog the arteries as well. To learn more about these, tap on the video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you to the subscribers and thank you once more for watching my video today and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.